I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey RHS, I'm Haley Hamlin. And I'm Riley Crosby, and this is your Daily Dose for Friday, June 8th, 2018. Teddy's is having an end of the year sale. All plants and herbs are $5. Make sure to buy something special for your favorite teachers. Linkers Lemonade and Learning Final Exam Review will be this Monday, June 11th in the LMC right after school from 3 to 4. The Wyandotte Marching Chiefs 2018 season is just around the corner. Anyone interested in marching band should see Mr. D'Angelo for details. If you want to see the yearbook staff's coverage of spring sports, prom, senior all-night party, graduation, senior rec day, and more, Make sure you download the Spring Supplement. On Friday, June 15th, the Spring Supplement will be available at rhsbearedaily.com. All you need to do is go to Bear Daily, click on the Yearbook tab, and from there you can view it, download a free digital version, or order your own print version to keep with your yearbook. The Yearbook Spring Supplement will be available for download on June 15th. Here's another review from Hayden. What up, RHS? It's your boy Hayden, and we're back here with another review. And today, we're going to be reviewing KOD by J. Cole. Psych, boy, we don't listen to no trash here in RHS. You know, we only listen to that straight fire. But for real, we about to review Until Death Call My Name by NBA Youngboy. NBA Youngboy is probably one of the hardest rappers out right now, hands down. Every song he puts out is cold, it's fire, and it's hard. In my opinion, I like every single song on this whole album, but a few of the best ones are Preach, Overdose, Outside Today, Solar Eclipse, Right or Wrong, and Traumatized. I mean, you can just tell how hard this album is. He's got two iced out watches on his wrist. Look at his face. He's telling y'all, y'all not ready to listen to this fire. <laughs> this whole album, I rate it a nine out of 10. And I give it that just because I want to see NBA Youngboy go harder. And I know the next project he dropped is going to be a thousand times harder than this one. But that's it with this review. I'll see y'all later, RHS. Thanks, Hayden. Becca's Blackout Cancer Chapter will be starting next year. Carter took a closer look. Hey, RHS. I'm Carter Coyne. DECA is partnering with Mott's Children's Hospital to create a new event replacing Gold Rush called Blockout. We decided to talk to a couple individuals here at RHS that are involved. We were approached by Gene Skidmore, who is an RHS alum, and he is the Corporate Sponsorship Director for the University of Michigan Mott Children's Hospital, and he reached out to us about coordinating our community service football game around the Blockout Cancer Campaign through the University of Michigan. So therefore, we are partnering with the football program to once again hold the football game, and that will be on September 21st against Edsel Ford. Why not really got involved with this program when myself, Coach Adams, Mrs. Kamiski, and a few other students went to C.S. Mott Children's Hospital at U of M, and uh, really there we sat down with a doctor, a few people who like ran the program, and also a, a child who was 11 years old, I believe, and she had cancer twice, and we sat down with her mom as well, and we discussed everything that goes along with cancer and what the whole blackout cancer is about. The main difference is the money is going to a different organization. So rather than it going to Relentless, which it has the last two years, which has been a dynamic partnership, uh, we're now moving to another donation area as far as pediatric cancer in general with the University of Michigan, with Mott Children's Hospital, rather than just selecting one specific family. Um, we're doing a lot of the same fundraisers for this program, but that's really the biggest sim similarity is we're still fundraising for children's cancer. Some similarities with the Gold Rush will be the jersey sponsorships, and we also will be doing t-shirt sales, we'll be doing the Miracle Minutes, 
Uh, we have some new ideas. We're going to be doing a uh, whip cancer, which will be like a pie throwing competition with whipped cream. We have just a whole bunch of fun, exciting things that we're still working on because we're still in the brainstorming phase of this right now. If you want to get involved, all I can say is just really be supportive of this whole thing. It's definitely going to be a lot of work uh, with the amount of money we are trying to raise. And then also, if there's anything going on, if we do need any help or volunteers, you know, just raise your hand and get out there. The biggest way students can get involved is to spread awareness of the event itself. We will be doing t-shirts starting in July at the street fair, so you can look for us at the street fair. Um, but at this moment, it's really just promotion. It's getting people excited. We are going to be going to the elementary schools this year and doing a Miracle Minute. So we've already started reaching out to them about collecting change over the summer. So just different things to start spreading awareness and get everyone excited for the game on September 21st. It's great to see Wyandotte getting involved and making a change. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Carter. Stay Say happy, RHS!